Well, hey there, Sunday School. All right, we've got another story. Um, if you remember what we were talking about last time, um, Jacob had a bunch of kids. He had gotten married to Leah because he had gotten tricked. And then after that, he had gotten married to Rachel, which was the woman that he really actually wanted to be married to. Now, God had blessed him with a lot of kids. Leah, in particular, had had all those kids. And Rachel finally got pregnant and had a little boy named Joseph. So Joseph was almost the youngest brother, and he was from Rachel. So here's the thing. Jacob, because he loved Rachel more than Leah, he showed favoritism toward jo Joseph. And so Joseph's older brothers were really jealous. They didn't like him because they could see that their dad was treating Joseph better than them. So there was one time, and it kind of like really showed the brothers, their dad made this super expensive, ornate robe for Joseph. Now, all the big brothers, they just had to wear their normal ragtag robes. They didn't get an ornate robe, but Joseph got one. So they were getting mad, um, even more jealous by the day. Well, one day, all the brothers, the big brothers, were out in the field and they were letting the sheep um, eat the grass. And they had traveled a long way so they could get nice fresh grass and they had been gone for a little while. So Jacob called to his, his son Joseph and he said, Joseph, will you do me a favor? Can you go and check on your brothers to make sure they're doing okay? And Joseph's like, yeah. And so Joseph um, went out on his way. Now let me tell you something that had happened um, before he, the brothers had gone out to go get the sheep. So here's what here's what happened. So jo um, Joseph had three dreams. And in each one of those dreams, there was something that bowed down to him. So for example, in one dream, these sheaves of grain, like big tall stalks, there was 12 and or 11 and they all bowed down to the one the one stayed up straight now remember joseph had 11 brothers and he was the 12th okay so then he had another dream where there were 11 stars and then there was one that they all bowed down to and then they had a, he had another dream so he had told his brothers about this dream and they were like you think we're gonna bow down to you and they told he told his dad the dreams and his dad was like hmm that sounds a little strange but he kept it in mind so anyway now Joseph Joseph is on his way to go and um, check on his brothers so he's like a long way off in the distance and the brothers actually see him and they start to plot they're like, oh, there comes our brother who thinks he's better than us. Let's get rid of him. And they actually talked about it and they decided they wanted to murder Joseph. They hated him so much, they wanted to kill him. So they're like, let's, um, let's throw him, let's kill him and then we'll throw him in this cistern. The cistern was like this really deep pit and a lot of times there was water in there. And one brother, Reuben, he was older. He was like, you guys, let's not kill him. Let's not lay a hand on him. Let's just throw him in the cistern and leave him there. And then if he can, you know, get out, he'll get out, but he probably won't. He just didn't want to be guilty of killing his brother. So they're like, okay, that's fine. So they put Joseph down in the cistern and they went off and they were probably eating lunch or something. Um, and the brothers kind of saw far in the distance, like they were in kind of a desert area. So on the road, on this desert road, there were some merchants coming um, who had like really fancy um, things that they were gonna go sell in Egypt. And Judah, one of the brothers, he was like, you guys, 
instead of just leaving Joseph here, why don't we sell him into slavery? Because then we'll get money for it. So they decided that that was a good idea. So all the brothers took Joseph, they took Joseph's ornate coat, his robe, and they took it from him and then they dipped it in blood. What they did was found a goat and they killed the goat and then they dipped it in blood so that it would look like Joseph got attacked by an animal. And they sold him into slavery and then it was time to head home. They took their sheep back and they went to their dad and they're like, dad, here's this robe and we are wondering if maybe it belongs to Joseph. So his dad looked at the robe and he saw the blood and he says, that is Joseph's robe. And he must have been killed by a ferocious animal. And he was so sad. He mourned and mourned for his son, Joseph, and he wept. And the brothers then were satisfied because they felt like they had gotten justice. Now their, their dad couldn't show favoritism to them. Now we're going to find out next week what happens to Joseph when he gets to Egypt. All right. Bye, Sunday school.